Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Lex Rx. I'm Dr. Lexi, the functional medicine pharmacist at the Vine Health, Health and Wellness, which is the um, fun functional medicine wellness clinic inside of River City Pharmacy. So um, today I wanted to talk about how and this whole month we've been talking about um, what affects the metabolism and how an upset metabolism can affect other things in your health, um, such as leading to diabetes and possibly Alzheimer's. So um, today we're talking about stress because it's the holiday season and we know that that can be really stressful even though um, it can be also be really fun. So um, one of the many ways that's, and or the main ways that stress affects your metabolism is it can cause accumulation of deep abdominal fat deposits. So basically, it means that you're going to pack on fat more when you are high stress. So um, when you get those fatty deposits, they send out inflammatory signals into your body and that promotes insulin resistance and can lead to things like diabetes and Alzheimer's and brain fog and other all other things. But um, that's basically the gist of it. So um, I, today I did want to also talk about the components of stress because the mental, emotional, um, perceived stress is just one aspect of it. Your body also sees um, a, several other things as stressful events on the body and will react in the same way. So I'm just going to start with perceived stress or the mental emotional. This is what you typically think of as stress. So this is stressful people, stressful events, stressful places or situations that might trigger your fight or flight response um, that we describe as feeling stressed. Um, I also wanted to bring up blood, blood sugar imbalance is a type of stress on the body. So you, if you have all these spikes in your blood sugar, which if you have more questions about that, watch the video from two weeks ago. I went into more depth on how um, that that all works and happens. So um, basically, we're trying to avoid these sugar spikes because that lets your, well, one, it doesn't spike your blood sugar, but two, it allows for your insulin levels to be more steady. When you have big insulin spikes, that causes inflammation too, which feeds into the whole cascade, and that's why it's stressful on the body. Um, so things that you can do to help balance your blood sugar are to eat more vegetables, um, healthy fats, and clean protein. Okay, sleep disruption is also a type of stress on the body. Like, hey, America. Sleep is really important, and if we don't get good sleep, or not enough, or it's interrupted all the time, then that is also perceived as stress on the body and creates inflammation. So this is, again, lack of sleep, even too much sleep, or maybe you're just not getting into that deep restorative sleep that helps I mean, think of sleep as like your cleanup crew, the, the janitor that comes in at night, right? They do, you know, you take it for granted because you come in the next day to office maybe and everything's clean. The trash is taken out. It's wonderful. But if that component of your body system starts to malfunction, then you're coming in the next day and there's there might still be trash or some dust or something. And then you add that day's work on top of that and it just accumulates over time and that is very stressful on the body. Okay, last thing is in general inflammation. So inflammation is caused by all sorts of things, including everything that we just talked about, the perceived stress, the blood sugar imbalance, and the sleep disruption, but it can also be caused by food, toxins, lack of movement, infections, or gut bug imbalance. There's a whole host of different things that can cause inflammation in a, you know, one person versus another. I mean, everyone's going to be different. So this kind of seems overwhelming because it sounds like everything can cause stress on the body, which in some aspects can be true, but the key here is to optimize one thing at a time, just one. So the easiest way 
um, to be successful with this is to work with someone um, such as myself or anyone else in the area that you are interested in working with to tailor each of these steps to you and to make sure that you can be successful because we, we do you know, several people or many people are successful on their own, but it's a lot harder to do it when you don't have a team behind you. So um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help and I will see you guys next week. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.